So recently, I made a video around a year and a half ago about the Warobots, the robots versus the Kaiju from Pacific Rim. Now, if you don't remember that video, it's pretty clear that you didn't watch it. So go watch it and then come back to this one. But I'm going to be adding Titans into the equation now. Now, since the last time we talked about that subject, we didn't really know the size of the robots. I was mostly just speculating on what their actual size would be. Now, their actual size is stated to be around 30 to 40 feet. I did get a little bit accurate, but I was still pretty dumb and I thought they were around 100 feet. Now, the Titans, we do actually know their size and their size is actually around 100 feet, which would make them pretty large. And now, since I'm going to be adding some, some of my lore into this because Pixonic is in clear about anything, I'm going to say that these robots, technically, every robot has a shield. The shield is basically the HP you see in the game. So that's basically my reason for why robots have, you know, HP in the first place and not just getting damaged. But anyway, let's just get onto it. So the Titans would be a pretty good match against the Kaiju. I am not going to state this too much, but the Titans would be able to wipe the floor with most Kaijus in the beginning. As I stated in the previous video, the beginning usually goes well for any resisting, you know, nation, faction, whatever. They would probably wipe the floor with them and the Kaijus would be like, oh man, you know, they're, they're getting destroyed. Now, that's not the only problem. The problem is later on, the Kaijus will become resistant to the thing they're fighting. So let's say, oh, um, the Kaijus fight an Arthur first. The, um, Arthur kills first one, two, three, first three Kaijus, right? The fourth one will probably have tougher armor, you know, and just like big bulky front to destroy that shield. If that Titan gets destroyed, now if that Kaiju gets destroyed, they send in a bigger one, which is more resistant to the thing that killed the other one. You know, every time they kill something, it becomes more and more resistant to the thing that killed them. So in the end, that Arthur is going to be a bunch of tin cans in a scrapyard. So yeah, like let's say, oh, that's the example with the Arthur. Let's say there's um, a Plasma El Ming, all right? It will probably kill most uh, the Kaiju first. But later on, let's say the Kaiju will probably defect, um, make skin that can probably deflect some of the bolts of plasma or disperse the plasma shots throughout its whole body. At this point, the Kaijus are probably just going to start flying and then just, you know, destroying the heck out of the, the Elmi. You get my point. The Titans won't be able to do much after a certain amount of time. At that point, they're going to be walking bricks with, you know, little nerf guns on them. They're not going to be much use anymore. So, I say it is a chance they could defend humanity for a while, but after that while ends, their free life uh, insurance has ended, and the Kaijus will destroy them and turn them into my cup that I am holding right now. Anyway guys, this is Beastmaster Gaming, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you didn't see the, one, the other one, go check it out. I am stuttering, and I am tired, and it is hot in Santa Barbara. So I'll see you all later!